What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, going to do a quick pickup video of some of the shoes I picked up so far for summer 2022. Um, and that will be three different types of shoes, um, three different brands, three different colorways, three different price points. Um, you get the picture. Um, so I'll be mainly playing volleyball on these. So um, I do expect to do some performance reviews um, later down the line once I have some more um, wear time in each pair of shoe. But yeah, we can start off with the first pair. So this one is uh, a Curry brand shoe. Um, my first Curry brand shoe. I've had the Curry 1s, the Curry 2s, but those are technically Under Armour. Um, but here we have the Curry uh, Flow Tro 4. Uh, so this is the shoe that um, Curry is wearing in the finals. Um, and of course, the premier thing that it highlights is Under Armour's new Flow cushioning, which is a same material midsole and outsole um, this particular colorway very simple um, just a dark gray upper some red laces and then like off-white uh, midsole slash outsole um, and as you can tell I already played uh, a decent amount in them um, so these come in at $140 which is actually cheaper than the Curry 9 um, and then so far as far as like my thoughts on them I think these are the best looking Curry um, and so far flow is pretty cool traction is awesome um, my only concern is the durability of the uh, material so that being the flow cushioning because um, if you toe drag at all in volleyball or you play on the edges of your shoe then that's going to be a concern um, and then I've seen a lot of people having issues with the suede upper um, kind of tearing so those are my initial thoughts so far, but as far as performance reviews, this will probably come out first uh, out of these three shoes. Uh, and so far, this is the one that I've worn the most uh, since I got these a little, a little while ago, but this is the first pair. All right, the second pair, um, these shoes went on sale. I think I got them for around 50, 60 bucks. Um, they are a Jordan brand shoe. I do not have the box because the box has been repurposed already for other use, pretty much storing some tools I have at home. But here we have the Jordan Zoom Separate uh, in this white colorway, uh, white and blue, um, kind of like a teal colorway. So very simple, um, hits of teal here that says Jordan. Uh, yeah, Jordan, see that? And then um, on, the, on the medial side, it says Jordan, Brand performance so if you're not familiar with the shoe um, the main like nice tech is this zoom unit in the uh, forefoot which is like a gum shape gum stick shape it's kind of weird I've never had a or I've never played in a shoe um, that had this type of zoom unit in it so very curious there um, retail these are $110 which is the same price as Luca's new shoe. And this is kind of, other than the Jordan 36, this is the shoe that he uh, would wear before his signature model came out. So, yep, very simple, clean colorway. Uh, upper seems to be some sort of mesh material, um, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, I, still, I still even have like these guys in here. So I haven't worn these yet, no opinions yet, but yeah, going to be playing some volleyball on these. That is the second pair that I picked up, um, but excited to try these out. I've heard really good things about this, and um, of course, I love Zoom Air, and it's not full length, but if it's in the forefoot, then I'm excited. Um, what's interesting is like, you might be able to see, but this Zoom unit kind of protrudes a little bit more on the outsole. Um, so I've played in the 36s, and that shoe also has kind of a Zoom setup, where it protrudes a little bit beyond the outsole. So I'm wondering how that will feel on foot, but let you know once I start playing. So that is the second pair. And the last pair, this is the box. I got some KD-15s. Um, actually, the box is actually pretty cool. And on the inside it says easy. Um, okay, and then I got this kind of like bolt yellow green colorway. So here is my last pickup. These are the most expensive shoe that I picked up. Um, and this has full length strobel, uh, which I'm excited about. Um, this out, outsole pattern is kind of like the Kobe 9 in terms of 
almost mimicking a fingerprint or footprint. Um, and then, yeah, it says uh, easy on, on the heel, heel tab, um, then number seven. Um, and then it has like some medial caging here um, made out of plastic, but yeah, so far, so I played uh, volleyball in these uh, the other night in my Thursday men's league um, as a libero. Um, from my one wear, which is four sets, um, it felt great. Other than like heel slip, which has been talked about online in other reviews, um, I do do the runner's knot, so you'll see here. Uh, it helped a little bit, um, and I tightened it after like my, my foot kind of warmed up inside the shoe. But I'm hoping that that heel slip goes away um, or like improves over time once I'm breaking it in and like my foot has molded to the foot a little bit more. Um, but so far, the Zoom Showable full leg Zoom Showable unit feels great. Traction is awesome, um, and I think they look pretty good on foot. Um, as far as sizing, you could. I went true to size, so I'm a nine and a half, and I went nine and a half. Um, but with the heel slip to shoot, maybe consider going down half a size. But um, I don't know. I don't. I don't want my my toe to be just jamming across the front of the foot. But I'll be playing in this shoe. Well, I plan to be playing in this shoe uh, for nine man um, this season at nationals. Uh, we decided to do some back row shoes, and this is the shoe we landed on. So um, our back row will be wearing these shoes. And that's it for the pickups. Uh, I do plan on doing performance reviews on all three. Um, in order, it's probably gonna be the Curry Flotro 4s, and then the KD15s, and then the Jordan Zoom Separate. So um, let me know if you think these are good pickups. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.